So this is part three of our uh, how to work with a child themed series. In this video, I will talk about how we can work with functions in child theme. More exactly, how you can duplicate a function declared correctly of WordPress theme. Uh, but before that, don't forget to give us a like so we know we are doing the right thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's assume that you want to change the property page by adding a new detail in the address section. Here is the address section and let's say you want to add a single detail on this square. You find out that the template uh, file for this design is uh, property page acc content.php and you discover that you need to change this function, a state listing address. The first thing you need to do is to locate this function. Uh, you can do that by using the search in folder option by your IDE. For example, let's say I just copy this and I'm going to the temp folder, which is VP Residence, and I have a uh, finding folder. Okay. And I see that the function is declared here. Double click and I found the file. Now that we found the function, it's time to work with it in a child team. I know that many of you will try to replicate the steps we did in the previous video, and you will try to copy this uh, file listing functions into the child team. And this may work, but it's not the best solution. But for the moment, let's just try it. So for example, copy the file. We notice that is in the libs folder. So we go to the child team. We create the folder libs and paste the new the new file. So we have we end up with two versions of the same file. This is the original and this is the new file. And in the file that belongs to the child team, let's do the actual change. Okay, we have here address. Let's let's just put address two here. Click save. And if you refresh the page, you see that uh, the address to field appear. Okay, this technique works, but it's not the best. And uh, let me show you what uh, is the way to do it. First of all, let's close the file in the child team and uh, delete it. So notice that we don't have any file in libs. The best uh, approach for this problem is to copy this code, the function code, and go into the child team functions and just paste it at the end. This is what is happening. Uh, the child team files are loaded first. That means WordPress will load uh, first the functions PHP from the child team and will reach this section of the code and will declare the function a state listing address. After that, it will continue the normal execution and load the original temp files. But when we reach, when uh, the WordPress reach this section of the code, we'll find this if, and this if instruction reads, if function does a state listing address does not exist, then declare it. But the function already exists since it was declared in the child team function. So WordPress will just skip the section of the code and will end up only with the uh, function declaration we did in the child team. So now we can go and do the same thing. And just put address new this time, save, and uh, let's reload the page. Okay, so we have address new. Remember that when working with function in a child team, you don't need to copy the whole file. You just need to copy the function that you need to modify. But also you need to remember that this work only if the original function is declared like this. With if function does not exist, is called before the actual function declaration. Otherwise, this technique will not work. And you'll need maybe to copy the whole file. 
That's it for today. The next video in this series will be how you can work with JavaScript file in a child team. If you liked this video, just give us a like. Thank you.